All right, so I'm gonna be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD as well as upgrading the RAM on this HP ProBook model 4530S. All right, so as you saw, first thing we're gonna do is remove the battery. You just pull these two tabs to the side. This pops up and you can swing it over this way. All right, the battery model number here is PR06. All right, so it's right there in that corner. Um, HP spare part number is 633805-001. So if you need to replace those parts for some reason, those are the model numbers. All right, there you go. Hopefully it's visible. And there you go. All right, we're going to set the battery aside. Now we're going to open up the cover. This design is very nice. There's no tools you need. You just slide this over to the side after you remove the battery. And then you can go ahead and pull this cover down and then you can lift this out of the way. Um, it is a little bit dusty, so I am going to clean it up, but, um, yeah. All right. So let me clean that out real quick and then I'll be back. All right. So I'm back. So we cleaned out the fans a bit. All right. So here you go. It's a lot cleaner. All right. So we're going to be replacing the hard drive with an SSD and then we're going to add another stick of Ram here. So, Here's the replacement RAM we got, or the other additional stick. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut the plastic here, or let's peel it back if we can. Alright, so peel this sticker up. Alright, just like that. Let's go ahead and take the RAM out. You want to make sure that you're grounded when working on this kind of stuff. Alright. This up. Okay. There we go. We're gonna pop this out just like this. Okay, so let's make sure <clears throat> that we have matching RAM. So the RAM pops out like that. Here you can see 4 gigs PC3 10600S. Then we got this 4 gigabytes PC3 10600S as well. Alright. The clock timings are different. This is 910F2, this is 911F3, right? But, uh, yeah. Okay, if I remember correctly, I think the lower times are better, but I don't know. I, I don't really check specs so much to um, try and increase performance. I just use whatever works in it, so... All right, so let's get that stick in. So you put it in at that angle like that, and then you click it down into place. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the hard drive or the SSD. We're gonna use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver, I think, yep. All right, so we'll remove that screw there, and then there's another screw here. We're gonna remove that one as well. All right, then we got two other screws over here. go and then we should be able to slide the hard drive out so once you get the four screws out you can use this tab pull it over to the left oh man it doesn't want to actually move so let's see do I have to use both tabs all right let's use both tabs so we're gonna try and slide the hard drive over there we go okay all right good thing that worked so it looks like this tab might be for pulling it over and this one's for pulling it this way all right anyways so there's four screws here holding the hard drive into place. So we're gonna remove those four screws. Okay, I'm gonna set those aside here. Okay. We're gonna be doing a clean install of Windows on here. So if you need help creating a Windows 10 USB installer, just let me know. All right, so we're gonna set these aside. There we go. All right, now that we got those four screws out, let's see how we'll get this hard drive out. It looks like the hard drive is in this black plastic thing. Let's see, how do we get this off? Hmm. Okay, it looks like the whole hard drive is like enclosed in this plastic sheet or something. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna unwrap this part here so it's held in with an adhesive. I think we have to take this out to get the hard drive out. Oh man, the adhesive isn't peeling off well, so 
we'll see. I mean, SSDs don't really need all this stuff coating on here, but all right, so let's get that out. And then can we get the hard drive out now? All right, there we go. So now we can pull the hard drive out. We just had to peel that one piece off. There we go, we'll set that aside. All right, so we're gonna get the SSD out now. So just get a flat tool or something, whatever. Doesn't matter, depending on your SSD, it might be in a different kind of box, but this is how I open up this type of SSD. All right, once we cut that open, I can go ahead and separate the layers just like this, okay? We'll get the SSD out. I'm gonna put the old hard drive in here. Okay. There's some static holding that paper in there. Well, there we go. Put the old hard drive like that. Then we'll get the replacement SSD. Okay, so it was going like that, and we have this going here. So get the replacement, put that in there. Make sure the tabs end up back on top. Okay, put that in a place. Oops, it helps to kind of put one side in first and then swing it downwards this way. Let's see, is this gonna fit in properly? This SSD has like some, has really sharp corners, so Sometimes it might be a little tough to fit this in. Let's see here. Okay, just get this slid into place. As you can see, it's pretty tough to get this SSD fit in there, but there we go. All right, looks like it's in. Let's try and get all the screws in. This might be tough because it's pushing out the metal frame. Okay, there we go, that's working. All right, get the other screw. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough. It's not lining up properly. So, let's see, how am I gonna fix this? I'm gonna loosen this screw a little bit. Okay, let's look at the other side. So this side, for some reason, lines up okay. Let's go ahead and tighten down this side then. Okay. Let's get it. Let me see. Well, I thought it lined up well. Hmm. So this actually doesn't line up properly. I'm gonna have to kind of push on it a little bit. All right, make sure the screw holes line up. There we go, perfect. Tighten this one, tighten this one. All right, I guess we can wrap the adhesive over a little bit. Let's see, can we somehow, are we going to be able to slide this last screw in properly? So I'm gonna have to pull this forward and push the hard drive over. Oh yeah, that's working. It's gonna be difficult because I have to push it while I'm screwing it in. Okay, well, let's put this I guess on top, stick that back over, and I'm gonna have to push the SSD in over here and pull the SSD back. Okay, well, I'm holding it like this. Wow, I don't know, that's gonna be tough to get it to fit in there. Come on, oh, there we go. Oh, nope, it's just pushing the SSD out. All right, so I don't know. This one's having a tough time fitting properly. Let's loosen this screw up some more. Okay, let's take this screw completely out. I don't know why this one doesn't want to fit right. this up all right I think the crucial SSD might fit a little bit easier because it has rounded edges all right so now we're just gonna slide this back into place start it over back here all right get that in oops I guess we need this to stick down more 
All right, so let's go ahead and push this side in first, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna slide this over, get the connection in, and there we go. Okay, let's get these hard drive screws back in. So I'm not doing a complete disassembly of this video uh, of this laptop, but here you can see the wireless card. All right, if you need to remove the keyboard, there are screws under here labeled with keyboard. I'm not gonna pull the keyboard out, but yeah, because it's already like two or three a.m. and I have to get these computers repaired so I can sleep. So anyways, there we go. We're gonna put this cover back on. Just get that lined up. All right, and then slide it back forward. Oops, you want to make sure everything is lined up right. Okay, and then click that into place. Then we just take the battery, get the back piece back in like that, click it in, and that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Thank you for watching. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm going to actually run the Windows installer thing right now so let me get the windows installer usb okay and now let's see so basically what you do just plug in the usb power up the computer and then you press f9 f9 i believe to boot from yeah f9 to boot from the temporary boot device so here you can see now it says notebook upgrade bay hard drive or the SanDisk Cruiser Fit, so I'm going to do the SanDisk Cruiser Fit, which is my USB drive, and this will start the Windows 10 installer. Again, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Let's drop this.